This little video is going to walk you through the uh, homework for the first module, the uh, practice with calculations worksheet. So let's go ahead and we have to kind of start a few slides back here and we're going to talk about this food label. Okay, so if you look at this food label, then what you will see here is that uh, it lists the total amount of calories and it also lists things like calories from fat and you know serving size and that sort of thing and how many servings are in a container but we'll get to that later what I wanted to kind of look at is we're looking at per serving how many carbohydrates proteins fats are in this okay in this particular thing which what are we looking at we're looking at uh, honey wheat bread okay so let's look at that first here let's find our carbohydrates our total carbohydrates is 15 grams that you can see right here okay hang on a second all right so total carbohydrates 15 grams that you can see right there so I went and I put down here 15 grams now we already know that in any carbohydrate per carbohydrate or per gram of carbohydrate we have four kilocalories of energy per gram of carbohydrate so if you take that 15 grams up here and multiply it times four you end up with 60 calories or food calories or what we call kilocalories in the carbohydrates for this particular honey wheat bread okay now we do the same thing for protein we find protein and we see that there are three grams of protein on here and also like carbohydrates protein has four kilocalories of energy per gram of protein so since we have three grams of protein we multiply three times four and that comes out to 12 kilocalories or how much energy we have in the protein coming from the protein okay and then the last thing is fat so we find our fat and we notice that our total fat is one gram okay our total fat one gram well fat is different than carbohydrates and proteins because fat has actually nine kilocalories per gram of energy per gram and since we only have one gram that's an easy calculation it's just nine okay so that's what we have here so if we add the 60 plus 12 plus 9 that comes out to 7281 kilocalories okay we just rounded it down to 80 I'm not sure why we did that but there you have it so it's 81 kilocalories is total calories oh I see they rounded it down okay so what is actually happening here is these are probably point stuff you know 14 point something and 32 point something and that's probably what's going on there but um so they they call it 80 total but in a reality it comes out to 81 based on the numbers that we have here okay so that's the concept let's move on to the next thing here okay so we're talking about total kilocalories in a day so say for example your total kilocalories for the entire day was 1980 calories okay so that's how many calories you ate that day all right 1980 all right if 290 grams and you notice sometimes it's just G sometimes it's GM whatever okay 290 grams of carbohydrate and 290 grams of carbohydrate times four because remember for every gram of carbohydrate there's four kilocalories per gram that's how many carbohydrates we had okay how many grams of fat did we have well we had 60 grams of fat and remember we'll have to multiply that times nine when we're trying to get the total amount of calories of fat and 70 grams of protein okay so if you look at the 70 grams again it's a four kilocalories to get our proteins all right now let's see if uh, we do that all right um, hang on I need to actually put the numbers in here um, to make it easier for you to do so let me grab my little calculator that you can't see there it is my little calculator I know it's lame anyway 290 I'm putting in times 4 and that equals 116 okay so I have a hundred and sixteen that can't be right I forgot something 290 times 4 is 1160 all right I forgot my zero in there okay so I have 1160 kilocalories total from my carbohydrates okay now I have 
60 grams of fat times 9. So 60 times 9 is going to be 540 calories came from fat. Now the next one down, 70 grams times 4. 70 times 4 equals 280 calories from protein. That's my 8. Alrighty, so this is what we did. My 290 times 4, I already said, was 1160. So if I take 1160 and divide that by our total calories of the day, which were 1980, then I will end up with 0.585858 forever, or 0.59, and then you just move your decimal point 2 to get a percentage to the right, and so 59% from carbohydrates is uh, our calories. So 59% of our calories for the day of that 1980 came from carbohydrates. Okay, so we're going to do the exact same thing for the fat to figure that out. Okay, so our 60 times 9, we already did that, that comes to 540. 540 divided by 1980 is going to give us a 0.27 or 27% from fat. So 27% of all of the calories that we ate for the day were from fat. And our proteins, same thing. 70 times 4, 280. So our 280 divided by 1980 comes out to 0.14 or 14%. Okay, so these, by the way, are actually about right, more or less, as far as what we should be getting um, for um, our percentages for carbohydrates should be somewhere around mm, mid 50s to, to 60 percent ish for the day, somewhere around 30 percent for fats, and uh, about 15 percent ish for protein. So these are actually fairly fairly consistent with what we should be intaking. Okay, so anyway, that's how we figure out for our day on how much. Now, we have an example here, and this example is going to look a heck of a lot like your homework. Okay, this is a hot dog on a bun with ketchup instead of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but it is the exact same kind of idea going on here. All right, what I did is I already gave you the information that you'll need. Okay, so if you look here, a hot dog itself, okay, that's just a hot dog, nothing else, has 32 grams of fat in it. 19 grams of protein in it and 180 grams of carbohydrates in it just like a hot dog bun itself has these numbers 3.1 3.6 and 21.7 ketchup doesn't have any fat or protein in it but it has four grams of carbohydrates okay now what did we say we said carbohydrates and proteins for every gram they get um, four kilocalories, okay? Four kilocalories, and our fat for every gram of fat was nine kilocalories, okay? So remember those numbers because we have to figure this out. What we want to do is we want to find out how many kilocalories are total in this hot dog, okay? We don't know how many kilocalories or how many calories, food calories, are in this hot dog, so let's go ahead and multiply. 32 times nine, well, 32 times nine comes out to 288. I'm just going to write that number in there. Uh, 19 times 4 should come out to 76. Sound right? 20, 40, 60, 80. Yep. Okay. And 180 times 4, that's uh, 720. Okay. All I'm doing is multiplying the numbers. Okay, that means that out of our hot dog, 288 calories of it came from fat, 76 calories of it came from protein, and 720 calories of it came from carbohydrates. That is a high calorie hot dog. Okay, so our hot dog in total has 1,084 calories if you add up the 288, 76, and 720. That's what it comes out to. Okay. Now let's look at our bun. All right, so what's our bun have? 3.1 grams of fat. Okay, I'm gonna give you a second. 3.1 times 
9 because you get, oops, didn't mean to do that, times 9, okay, 3.1 times 9 should come out to 27.9, okay, 3.6, now we're times and times 4 again, so 3.6 times 4, 14.4, and 21.7 times 4 is 86.8. All right, same same dealio here. It's my big decimal point. Same dealio. You add up 86.8, 14.4, and 27.9, and that should come to 129.1. 129.1. Sorry, went over my line there. And then we're left with our catch-up. All right, our catch-up should be pretty easy. Zero times anything is zero. Zero. And four times four is 16. So all we have is 16 calories in that little bit of ketchup. Okay, I think it's a tablespoon or something like that, or a teaspoon of ketchup maybe. Okay, anyway, so our hot dog, 1084 calories, our bun, 129.1 calories, and 16 calories from ketchup. We could have thrown a lot more stuff on there, but we didn't because I don't want to keep doing this all day long. So total calories we are going to get is 1,229 calories point one. Okay, I put it down here because it matches up if I add these things up. So if I add, um, actually what I need to do is I need to add 32 grams plus 3.1 grams comes out to how many grams? 35.1 grams of fat. Okay, so we have 35.1 grams of fat in our hot dog meal. All right, as far as protein, I add a 19 plus the 3.6, and I should have 22.6 grams of protein in our hot dog meal. Okay, and then 180 plus 21.7 plus 4 comes out to 205.7 grams of carbohydrates in this entire meal. Alrighty. Now, as far as the back to the kilocalories, how many kilocalories are from the fat category? Okay, this is how many grams they were. Okay, now I want to know how many kilocalories. Well, out of this 1229.1 kilocalories, um, 35.1 times 9, because it's fat, comes out to. 315.9 calories just from fat, okay, in our hot dog. Protein is going to come out as 22.6 times 4, and that's a 90.4. And our carbohydrates, 205.7, again, times 4. And that comes to uh, 822.8. Alrighty, so that's how many total calories. The 822.8 plus 90.4 plus 315.9 should equal the total calories that we got when we added 1084 plus 1291 plus 16. And that is the total calories of our entire hot dog for everything. Okay, and it should match up that that many 315 came from fats, proteins 90.4, and 822.8 from carbohydrates. All right, now we got to do is figure out the percentages. All right, percentages are easy. Um, eventually, they're going to come out 100% of everything. Okay, so we go ahead and, okay. If we have 315.9 calories that are from fat only, divide that by 1229, so 315.9 divided by 1229.1, and that is going to come out the 0.257, or 25.7%, okay, because this is percent, so what we're looking at. So 25.7% of our total calories for this hot dog meal came from fat, um, same thing, 90.4 divided by... 1229.1 should come out to 7.4% for 
from pro is protein and carbohydrates 822.8 divided by the 1229.1 is 66.9 percent of our meal came from carbohydrates all right it's kind of ironic considering protein you think of as meat and it has the smallest amount of anything only 7.4 percent okay that's um, how we do these calculations and if we look on the next slide right here that's your peanut butter and jelly sandwich on whole wheat bread okay so you do the exact same thing with that and it should get you through your homework just fine thanks